it's just one of those things because I was trying to think about it, and of course, my favorite celebrity is uh, Bruce Campbell. So I mean, so what if some? What if Bruce Campbell did that? Like you would be like, dude, dude I would be, I'd be floored. That's what I mean. I, I think right, but yeah, it's just weird. It's it's just a weird thing to realize that we as a society care about a certain group of people we've never fucking met. Well, and I mean... And really, for the most part, the only way we know them is through them pretending to be somebody else. Through politics. Yeah. I mean, they're just politicians at some point. Like, to some degree, they're just walking advertisements, just like Mm -hmm. a lot of sports stars like LeBron James and... To some degree, like, John Cena and shit, right? Like, where it's like, they have to walk this line of self-censorship to be to be able to uh, market themselves right n- in a massive way. And so it's like something like this is so damaging to the identity that Will Smith has built as a person. Like, he, he has gone through enormous efforts. Not at all that it's the same, but in the way that, like, for example, Bill Cosby did, right? Like, he created... Yeah. <laughs> This person who who may like, who you're is super wholesome. Right, but who is real? That is yeah. that is a real part of Bill Cosby. That is a real part of Will Smith. That those niceties, their 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 kind tendencies and shit. But they're not gonna show you all the fucking, everything. The ugly shit. Right. Because that's not that's not the, the the identity they want to build. And so when when we see that mask come off a little bit, I think especially with an icon like Will Smith who's been like fucking on it for 40 years or some shit you know what i mean just like just yeah perfect just imagine trying to be like that perfect for that long and i mean not that he hasn't made mistakes but right compared to like a lot of these other hollywood fucks you know what i mean he's been pretty damn good yeah that's Um, for sure and so it's just i think a lot of people are just shocked like oh I thought I knew this person. You fucking don't. You don't know shit. Not at all. You know what they want you to know about them. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, Anyhow. It's just weird. It's just really weird. Is there, a, I, and I know we talked about it a little bit last week, but is there a celebrity that, like, you really connect with at all or no? See, we've talked, we kind of talked about this. Yeah, because it, we talked about it when uh, I brought up Bruce Fest, because I think Bruce Campbell's, Really, the only celebrity I've ever kind of been a fan of, like a fan though, not like kind of like, oh, I like this way. person. Yeah, like if I could hang out with somebody, it would be Bruce Campbell. And I think I think that's fair. I think it's I I don't think it's corny at all to like. And see, this is where this is where it gets dangerous though, and this is where people get their feelings hurt with people by Will Smith, right? Like mm. what happened is once you start to like idolize a person once you start to believe and actually put faith into that person's identity and say okay cool you've done this long enough you've you've built my trust from a distance i mean that's what right. all again that's what all politicians do right like they build your trust through their through words their, and their advertising their books their movies and and then you know, occasionally the fucking, you know, the shit comes out that they weren't exactly who you thought they were. And, uh, you know, it's it's lame, but sometimes they are. And I, I, I believe that there are celebrities like Bruce Campbell. I think he's probably, he's. I think you're probably right about him, that he's just a good dude who I mean, made good decisions and fucking people worked, like him and yeah, is positive and shit. So Worked hard, did a lot of interesting things. Is uh, down to talk about it, down to give accolades to, you know, yeah. the people who helped him get there. Just, he seems like a, a good dude. Right. But so, yeah. so did Will Smith. <laughs> and then he yeah, slapped the he fuck really out did. of Chris Rock. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but he didn't, he didn't slap the shit out of Chris Rock on account of him necessarily, which, it, I don't know. I, 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 it's, it's very strange. I feel like he was put in a position to slap the shit out of Chris Rock. Or be maybe be more embarrassed later. Hmm. Like See, I, I think th- that was his fear. Is like if I don't do something now that may be embarrassing, and he obviously went overboard and it right. completely misread the situation. That he thought there would be cons- th- He had to assume there would be a worse consequence if he didn't do something. That's the only reason he did it. 
And that's why humans act, right? Because you're like, right. if I don't fight back, I'm going to die. If I don't run, I'm going to die. Like, you react to the situation you put in. And it, and it seems like he he did that, like, fuck, if I, I have to do this. Even though it seemed like yeah, he really didn't that, want to. We slapped him, like, kind of shitty. And then, like. Yeah, that was, like, the weirdest slap. <laughs> like, he didn't full on, like, outreach. He pulled it. He, like, he, like kind of whipped his shoulder with it he's like it's very oh. dramatic and i mean this is a dude who knows how to hit people so i mean i yeah. think i think he pulled it i think it was a big dramatic like bitch i'm slapping you like but i'm not gonna try to hurt you but yeah i'm not trying to fucking hurt you i'm trying to get a big slap noise like this is a a meaningful slap yeah like, it's very strange it's just very odd and, it, and you know we talk about it because it's like what is okay in popular culture becomes okay in day-to-day culture and so it's like if if this is just what it is and motherfuckers just go around slapping each other then fuck it i'll get my slapping hand ready you know what i'm saying because i'm ready to slap some motherfuckers too like not saying that i agree with why he did it but you right. know what I mean? If I if I crack a joke and somebody wants to come walk up on me, I'll be ready to slap right the fuck back. That was another really weird thing. Like the <laughs> fact he didn't flinch or nothing. That shit was crazy. I think he thought he was gonna come up and be like, "Why I ought?" You know what I mean? Some right. shit like that, or be like, "You my brother, be better." I, I but, well, he kept his arms behind his back the whole time in a in a defensive posture, like in a non aggressive posture yeah, too. Yeah. Like, yo, dude, I'm not like a I'm threat. not like I'm I get it. I get That's it. It's so weird though, because even I just feel like even seeing a hand coming at you, the like the least your body would normally do is like a one of these. Again, I think he thought he was gonna fake it. I think he thought you know what I mean? Yeah. Who would have actually thought Will Smith was gonna storm the stage <laughs> and actually follow through with a full on slap on Chris motherfucking rock? That shit is weird. Yeah. <laughs> like it's like one of those weird dreams you have where it's like one time I had this dream that like Fieldy from corn busted through my wall and stole my <laughs> hot Cheetos. Oh that motherfucker. And I was that like, I cool. woke up, I was pissed. I was like, that motherfucker. Fieldy from corn and his stupid bass tones, and I was pissed. <laughs> if you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you want to catch the whole podcast, it's going to be right here on YouTube every single Thursday. And we'll see you there.